Hi everyone, a very warm welcome to my channel. I hope you are all really well. This is a weigh-in update. I think it's weigh-in week number 33. I actually have lost track now. This week has been absolutely crazy busy and yeah, I've lost the plot a little bit this week. So very quickly, this is gonna be a very short video. You may have seen a vlog that I put up from last Saturday when my oldest son was at Beaver's camp and I just had my youngest son and I finished that vlog by saying that we'd had a lovely evening and yeah, I was going to bed and all was well. However, at one o'clock in the morning, my youngest son woke up being sick and he had clearly got some kind of bug. There was a lot of chat going on in the WhatsApp group for his class over that weekend about a sickness bug. And so presumably he had that, but so far, touch a lot of wood, we have all avoided it. So I'm not really sure, but yes. So Sunday he wasn't himself at all. He didn't eat anything and he was very wiped out. Monday, he was full of beans, absolutely fine, but school rules were that he had to remain at home because it was within 48 hours. So I had him home on my non-work day, which to be honest was lovely because he was absolutely fine and he's such a joy to be around that, you know, it was fine, but it was awkward keeping him off school because he was absolutely fine and, you know, I would have just sent him in, but rules are the rules. So I kept him home. So that put Monday in a bit of a quandary because I didn't get the jobs done that I would normally do on my non-working day. Then I spent the next three days in the office, which means I get home a bit later and work has been really busy. And two days this week, I didn't get a chance to eat anything whilst I was at work because I don't actually get a lunch break because I work five and a half hours. So I just slip out of that sort of um, employment law where I need to have a break so I don't actually get a lunch break so if I'm not sitting at my desk in a position where I can just quickly eat something then I don't get to eat and two days this week that has happened and to be honest it has been really tricky because I've got home really hungry and then I've had to quickly eat and dash out on the school run but I think I've just got so hungry I'm just looking out the window because it's really sunny, but it's chucking it down with rain. And it's 10 to three, I've got to leave in 10 minutes for school run. And I really just don't want it to be soaking wet and chucking it down on us, but it's not looking good at the moment. Anyway, I digress. So yeah, um, I then ended up eating a bit more than I would have normally, because I was really hungry. And the food that I took to work, um, I was eating when I got home, but it wasn't, it just wasn't feeling enough, I think. I'd got so hungry and then I didn't have the time to allow my head to catch up to say I'd eaten and you know, so basically that happened. On one of the days this week, so on Wednesdays I go into the school and do reading with the children um, and I have to be there early, it's absolutely tipping it down. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that, but it's absolutely tipping it down. Ugh. Any other parents find that it just, it stays really nice and sunny and then it rains at school run time. Always the way. Anyway, excuse the mess in the background. This is just how it's been this week. So yeah, um, where was I? So anyway, basically it's been a really busy week. I've had to straighten up the camera. I've had, yeah, I go into school and do reading and then we had parents evening as well. And uh, so I had two parents evening appointments on Wednesday, um, 3.40 and 4 o'clock, which meant that I'd been to school at half past two, done the reading, then had two parents even, we got home late. And yeah, it's just been a very hectic week. And I found myself feeling quite tired out now. However, today's Friday and it's now, like I say, it's 10 to three. And I've, been, I've just finished work, had a quick shower because I really needed to wash my hair. And um, at five o'clock, my sister-in-law is dropping off my niece and nephew. They are six and seven and they are coming for a sleepover. So it's gonna be one hectic night. My oldest son is still going to Beavers. So we're all gonna walk around to his Beavers Hall and drop him off there. And then they're gonna get home about seven or he's gonna get home about seven. And I'll have all the kids here and then I'm gonna give them their dinner at like seven. So it's gonna be a really late night, but it's just the way it's gonna to work. To, there's no other way to work it tonight. 
So yeah, it's really busy. And then tomorrow morning, we've got a bit of athletics at 10 o'clock. So what with four kids to get up and get sorted, I just, yeah, feel a bit hectic. Something happened this week that I wasn't expecting and I wasn't really sure how I felt about it. <laughs> and I think I've got my head around it now and I think I feel okay about it. But yeah, I wasn't prepared. So I weighed in last night and I gained half a pound. So that has put my weight loss, total weight loss at four stone, five and a half pounds. So yeah, wasn't expecting a gain, to be honest. I don't feel like I deserve it. Don't feel like I've veered off very much, but yesterday was one of the days where I didn't get a chance to eat anything all day. I ate my breakfast. And then I didn't get anything else to eat until about four o'clock. So I'd gone from half past seven in the morning until four o'clock in the afternoon. And I start, I did have some bits and pieces that I wouldn't normally eat. So don't get me wrong, I didn't go mad, but I did cause, I did feel um, very bloated, I had tummy ache, and it's because it doesn't actually take much now of the piercing foods to make me feel a bit off, you know? Whereas before I could eat endless amounts of it and, you know, it was just part of life. Now I really actually really feel it. So, yeah, anyway, I went and got weighed and I had a feeling I was going to gain. I, I could feel, I felt bloated. My jeans were feeling really uncomfortable and I just wanted to get them off. And yeah, so it wasn't the best way in. Obviously I stay to group, I always stay to group. And especially if you've had a gain or, or you know, your head's not in the right headspace, and I really recommend staying to group. If you've got a group like mine, you'll get so much support and I love my group. So anyway, I stay to group. And yeah, I, I can't say that I've got a, a particular plan for the week ahead, to be honest, because I don't feel like I can really put my finger on what happened this week. I only can say I've obviously eaten too many sins. I'm not tracking my sins particularly closely. So at the weekend, I really tracked them and I was really on it. During the week, it has been a bit hectic, but to be honest, I feel like I've eaten less um the normal but i haven't been tracking it and so anyway this week i'm going to make sure i weigh and measure all my healthy extras i don't always weigh my milk i must admit because i never finish it and then i wake up the next day and i've still got a portion of milk in the jug and then yeah it, i i've stopped weighing it basically but i'm going to start doing that again i always measure my healthy bee choice i don't know but it is one of those things and so I came out of group last night and I can't say I was happy. Um, I felt in a very strange mindset so I wasn't really annoyed about it but I also felt a bit in the middle. I didn't really have any feelings about it and I thought oh, I just I've got to get my head straight back into the game. I've got to get my mindset straight back into it because I can't let this derail me. So yeah, and luckily this morning I have eased myself back into it and I feel already in a better mindset. So that's all I can ask for. And I'm just hoping because next week we've got a busy weekend and then next week is half term, it could be a bit hit and miss again. And yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just about bouncing back from again, isn't it? Because, you know, I've only had, I think I've had one gain and two maintains i think since i joined in march so that's not bad going but bouncing back from a gain can be hard can't it because you yeah you you feel like you're on the edge of like possibly giving up which i'm not going to do but you feel like you could and then yeah you feel like well actually i've got some challenges in the week ahead so what's the point i might as well just not do it this week and i did think about that as well i did think do you know what? I'm going to relax it next week because I've got so much on this weekend and I've got so, you know, it's half term. And I thought, no, Leanne, because if you just take out 
the points in the week which are going to be particularly tricky you've still got i don't know but you've definitely got a good amount of meals that you can food optimize that you can make healthy choices and that could be the difference between a gain or a loss and yes yeah, so i am not going to lose focus but i am going to have to work hard this week and so that was my result this week not as i'd hoped and i do still have the gap on the back for my four and a half stone award which annoyingly i am a half a pound extra away from so my four and a half stone award is now going to take one and a half pounds to get but that's just how it is if i'm going to make my christmas target of my five and a half stone loss and i really am going to have to pull my socks up and really get on it um on in a positive on a positive note though i've had a few comments this week from people saying how different i'm looking i've also got bones <laughs> i keep feeling bones and stuff that i've like never felt before i've never noticed these bones in my shoulders i know they're normal so probably you're laughing right but i've never felt them um i'm getting like bones here and um my skin is changing, like there's changes going on in my skin and, um, you know, I'm getting sort of, I'm getting stretch marks visible and, you know, I'm 40 years old, so it's not going to be, I'm not going to, I'm just not going to, you know, my skin's not going to bounce back. That is how, you know, that is life. It's how it's going to be and that's fine. It's just, you know, it's just trying to adapt to what you're seeing in the mirror and things is, um, it's different so yeah I'm definitely I'm definitely seeing changes though that you know feeling changes that have been um an experience let's say so yeah but anyway I will stop waffling on now thank you as always so so much for watching I really hope this game doesn't stop you following my journey it's you know if anything it makes my journey m much more normal I think and yeah it's certainly not easy so i'm hoping that i'm i'm portraying it honestly and that you can see that it's not an easy one but anyway i hope you all have a good week and hopefully i'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>